Welcome back to Meet the Fish. This time we're looking at the white bass. White bass are members of the temperate bass family. It's a freshwater fish akin to the striped bass and the wiper or the hybrid bass. White bass are known for a strong fight for their size. They are widespread and easily accessible. And they're also good feasting fish. They're smaller in size than most bass, much like a crappie. Although sometimes considered a panfish, technically they're not. White bass are schooling fish, so if you find a pack of them, they can produce some action-packed fishing. It's a fish that's favored by light tackle enthusiasts. And most states in the United States allow large limits, so they're a favorite for table fare as well. Oh, you got some kind of fungus on your lip? Don't be kissing this one. Mr. So Fungus. how do you identify the white bass? They are a silvery fish okay. with stripes running down the body, much like a striped bass. The white bass, though, are shorter and squatter than the striped bass. They have 11 to 13 rays on the anal fin if you happen to lift up the skirt. And two patches of teeth at the back of the tongue will help them help you identify them against hybrid bass. Compared to the striped bass, white bass have a smaller head, a hump back, and dorsal fins that are closer together, although still separate fins. They grow smaller than the striped bass, usually peaking out at 15 or 16 inches. The average fish is probably 10 to 12 inches, usually only a pound or so, but there are state records up to four pounds. White bass are most healthy in clear, cool lakes and reservoirs, and rivers with pools reaching 10 feet in depth. White bass are known as patadromous fish, meaning they migrate up freshwater rivers and streams in order to spawn. They always return to the same spawning area year after year, usually when the water temperature reaches 45 to 50 degrees. After spawning, they return to deeper water where they pack hunt bait fish, often right under the surface. Like all predators, they will feed on whatever bait fish, crustaceans, and insects are available. At certain times of the year, white bass can provide fast action, especially because they feed in school. Anglers typically use light spinning gear with four to eight pound tests. Any lure that imitates shad or minnows will work. For example, small crankbaits, bucktail spinners, inline spinners, jigs like marabou jigs, grubs, curly tail grubs, or even spoons. And during feeding frenzies on the surface, called boils, a smaller topwater lure can work as well. When fishing for white bass, it's wise to relocate often if the bite slows down. It's smart to identify ahead of time, say, a half dozen likely spots on a lake or a region and try to jump from location to location. Because except for during the spawn, white bass are always on the move, chasing those bait fish. When fishing for white bass, one good clue is to watch for surface feeding, surface activity, jumping bait fish, or circling and diving birds. When you see that, zoom to those locations in your boat, cast along the outside edges, and even past the action, try to trigger those bites while not spooking the fish with the boat. Now these boils may only really last for a few minutes. So when the bite dies off, be ready to go somewhere else. 
In water bodies where the species coexist, white bass will hang out with both wipers and stripers and can be a fish accordingly. One thing that's notorious about white bass is the white bass run. In the springtime, when the water reaches that prime temperature, they run upstream to get ready to spawn. And when they do, they eat like mad. They pack on the, the food in order to get all healthy, to get that energy to spawn. And even during the spawn, they can be very protective of the spawning ground. And they are very vulnerable at that time. Nice. So hey, good luck targeting this fun fighting spunky sport fish. The white bass. White lightning. Oh, there's a good one. Good one. Fighter. Come on, baby. Whee!